Welcome guys to another Happy Crafting Lady Happy Crafting Lady video. Uh, we are working with our four by four inch ceramic tiles today. We're gonna be doing a fun little project. It's super, super simple. Um, I've got a variety of different colors of the Pinata alcohol ink. I'm gonna try and remember to say the names of the colors as I'm using them. And I also have um, a spritzer bottle with, it says 50% alcohol, but I actually switched it out for 91% alcohol by volume because I feel like it works better. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, but what we're going to do, and hopefully this turns out the way that it has in the past, I have some somewhere that I did this kind of technique with. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the alcohol on the tiles and then we are going to put drops of the alcohol ink on and as it dries up it makes cool textures, cool designs, cool patterns. Um, we're gonna have to do this video in two sections because you do this part and it actually, the alcohol ink, when it dries, somebody's driving their car outside, um, it, it has this kind of powdery texture. So I will do a spray over of, let's see if that's what this bottle is that's sitting right here. It is, I will do a spray over of a varnish. This is the one I use because whenever I put the resin on top, I, I use my fingers to move it around and I don't wanna smear the powdery texture whenever we get the design. So I will spray it with a varnish first to like seal the powders in and then I will come back with my resin. So we're gonna get started. What I'm gonna do is I'm just going to spritz these with the um, rubbing alcohol. It does have a little bit of a smell, but I have my fan on and I have my door open. Uh, we're gonna start with the Senorita Magenta and you'll see, I'm probably gonna have to spritz these again as I'm going. And actually spritzing them multiple times just adds to the effect. And if you were outside, which honest, I probably should not be encouraging this, but I've done it at my mom's house cause she has um, a little piece of land and we, we set up a safe area, but this is flammable and it actually creates an even more interesting um, pattern. I'm already gonna have to spray them again. Uh, whenever you catch it on fire and then it dries, it's a whole other, um, it's a whole other design than what we're getting, what we're gonna get today. But in my apartment, uh, our lease says we can't even have candles. So I think I just dropped a whole drop right on, uh, right on my desk. Oh, well, it's fine. It's not like it's not already covered in just about anything. Oh, I did not say the names of these colors. Okay, so the purple is called Passion Purple from Pinata, and the yellow is Sun Bright Yellow. And now we are going to, I'm gonna try and spritz from further away. I don't know if I'm getting, <laughs> if you can even see that. Uh, what have I got now? Rainforest Green. I'm just gonna try and fill in some of these spots. What? Ooh, way too much. That's totally fine. And now I've got Baja Blue. And you know, you probably could just put the colors onto the dry tile and then spritz it to create the texture without putting it on. Put a drop right there in that pink. So maybe it'll mix a little. Try and get some of the spots in here that I don't have other colors. All right, did I say that one? Yes, Baja Blue. Next we have Calabaza Orange. Honestly, the dark purple probably could have done without that because it's making it look almost like black. So I'm probably gonna have to um, spritz it. And if the cool thing about this is you can just spritz and um, 
move it around, add more, move it around, change it up if you don't like. And I'm putting some of the gold. I don't know if you guys have watched any of my other videos, but I'm pretty big into this gold um, alcohol ink from Pinata. It's called Rich Gold. It makes the coolest patterns and techniques. I use it on my tumblers a lot. Oh, I actually have one right here. Hold on just one second and I'll show you guys. It, it causes the coolest little patterns when you use the gold. Okay, so we're going to, ooh, look at that. Move them around. Too much purple, too much green. Next time we won't do that. Let's actually, let's just add some more lighter colors. Maybe we'll, that's not going to do anything, is it? Hmm. All right, well, we're going to let this kind of dry a little bit and we'll watch it. Maybe I'll, ooh. Ooh, maybe I'll blow on it a little bit. more gold I have to so when I buy the pinata I actually buy it in this big set that has uh, I don't even know eight or ten colors in it and I have to buy it the colors like the red and the blue and the yellow and stuff I have to buy I have like multiples because when I buy the pack it's because I've run out of the white which is the one we use to cause the effects um, in our coasters. Let me see if I have one. Oh, I do. I have one right here. And it causes the effect in the coasters, the white does. And so I use the white and the gold more often than anything else. I'm actually going to let this sit and record for a little while and I will time lapse it as it dries because as it dries that's when you're really going to see more of the colors come in because right now it's just big blobby wetness and it's all mixed in the colors but as you can see when I blow on it and it kind of like dries onto the surface you can see the colors better so I'm actually just going to maybe blow on it a little bit and time lapse this so you guys can watch uh, as it dries up. So I've noticed there's a couple spots that aren't drying up even whenever I blow on them and that's probably just from the probably the rubbing alcohol so I've got some square paper towels and I'm just going to because I have no patience and no chill whatsoever I'm going to gently do this to try and soak up some of the moisture real quick and then boom so I'm going to do that for each of these and then I will let them dry and then I will varnish them and then I will come back to shoot the other part where we put the resin on. Boom. just tied my fingers because that's never happened before <laughs> all right and we will be back to do the rest of the video later all right guys we are back with our tile coasters that we put the alcohol ink on the other day um, I forgot to mention this part in the last video but because I used the rich gold of the uh, alcohol ink I can't put my resin 
directly onto um, the coasters without a sealer because the resin will turn this gold green and that's just not what I want. So I sprayed these with a varnish this morning and they are dry, they're ready to go. Um, if you have watched any of my videos before, you have seen me mix my resin a million times, so I already went ahead and did that. Um, I will show you that I am using the Envirotex Light. That is the resin that I'm using for my coasters. Uh, I've got my gloves on and uh, I've got my door open and my fan on for ventilation. Always, always be safe whenever you're doing crafting, especially when you're using resin because the fumes can be quite intense. So we are going to put this on here and then it will take a little while for it to seal and we'll come back and I'll show you how I put the cork boards on the back. I'm just gonna put, that's probably more than enough. I think I put too much, um, <laughs> I think I put too much resin, but that's okay because I have other things that I can use it for. I always have other things. Maybe I'll, what am I gonna do with it? All right, let's move this around before I start. Next time I will try and remember, and also when you're using the resin, it is going to make these colors pop because they're kind of a little, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Muted, and it's gonna bring some vibrancy back, and I'm gonna use the resin that's on my glove to do the sides like this, and I see some air bubbles. So in a minute I'm gonna grab out my torch Oh, I hear someone downstairs. Um, I'm gonna pull out my torch and pop the air bubbles once I have finished spreading this out. All right, next one. See how that pink, the color of the pink has really popped back up. That resin does has that effect. It's one of the things that I super love about using the resin is that uh, it just makes colors pop whenever I'm doing cups or coasters or whatever I'm doing, I am always sealing with the resin. And I use different brands of resin for different things. Um, I was using the Amazing Cast for stuff for a while. Uh, that's the one that I use if uh, for cups. Look how much that color just pops out. Um, for my tumblers um, because you put your mouth on the tumblers and so you want you want a really good food grade or at least I don't know if food grades the proper term because that applies to like plastic and stuff doesn't it uh, but it's FDA approved regulated uh, the clear cast that I use is See how the colors just go boom, 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 boom. I got a song stuck in my head. I have to listen to that when I'm done, <laughs> when I'm done with this. All um, right, there is that one. I'm gonna try not to. All right, now I'm gonna pop my gloves off so that I don't get resin everywhere. And then I will pull my torch out Oop. and I will pop some bubbles and you want to watch when you're doing this because if you get it too liquidy it could run off the sides and then you have to sand down the sides um, when it runs over the edge otherwise the cork board um, won't stick to the backing and then it won't sit flat the way you want it to and you might still have some drippings whether you do or you don't heat the resin up too much uh, depending on how much resin you put on top and I know I put a lot today so I might have uh, I might have to do that either way and if I do then I'll video showing you guys how I do that how I get the the dripping pieces off the sides all right so these are going to sit um, probably tomorrow they will be ready for well I might not do tomorrow because I really I like for them to be really set before I try and put the backing on them because I don't want to damage them so it might be a couple of days before I come back and show you guys how I put the 
backings on but the step is finished our resin is on and that will cure and we will see you guys whenever we come back to do the rest of the video well finally finally <laughs> welcome back to the uh second third part of this video um i started working on these coasters when we were in the last house and uh never got around to finishing them until just now in my new studio um <laughs> so they've been cured for about three months or so now um i am using art resin today to do my hopefully final layer over the top of these coasters i uh cleaned them off with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a uh a paper towel i sprayed the alcohol on the towel and then I just wiped off the surface. Uh, uh, as most of you know, rubbing alcohol does affect the resin. However, in small portions, it can be used to uh, clean it off, to shine it, and it dries really fast so it doesn't really affect it. If you were to like submerge this in rubbing alcohol or spray a bunch on the top and just let it sit, it would probably affect the resin on the top but if I put it on a paper towel and I just wipe it off on the top, it doesn't really do that. Uh, it doesn't affect it at all. Um, so this is a different resin than I used for the first layer or yeah, the first layer that I put on here. However, since this has been cured for months, it shouldn't be an issue that it's a different brand of resin that I'm using. We'll see how that works out. Uh, so I'm going to mix this in equal parts in my little cup and then put it together and stir it and I'm going to speed this whole part up so that you guys don't have to watch it. is nice and clear when we pull it up it has some bubbles in it but you know that happens when you stir um i was gonna say something and now i completely forgot oh well couldn't have been that important all right so i'm gonna put a little bit on each of my coasters i'm gonna scoot some of them out of the way and i'm gonna put a little bit on the top it really doesn't take much on these coasters to coat the top. I'm probably putting a bit more than I really need on here, but I also want to make sure that I fill in all the little divots from um, when I used the, uh, why is my brain not working? When I use the spray um, sealer on top of the gold because the resin tends to turn the gold green um, so I have little divots it does that with the resin I think it's oil it's probably oil in the um, in the other sealer that I use that causes it to do that so I almost always if I use gold and I use my spray sealer I almost always have to uh, do two layers of resin on the top because it does little divots. But I have yet to figure out a way to clean off all the oil uh, I just let it come to the surface of the, the resin and then I clean it off after it's cured, it just sits on the top like a weird little oil. Like a little oil and water mixture. And so I I wipe it off after the resin the first the first layer of resin is cured. I could have jumbled that up a little bit more, I think. And I'm gonna come back in a minute and um, hit this with my oop with my torch. I'm trying not to have so much over the sides that it drips because I don't want to have to deal with the dripping. 
I don't want to have to do any sanding. Oop, this is not in the middle. I don't want to have to do any sanding, so I'm trying to leave the majority of it on the top and just kind of put a little bit on the sides. I think this one is my favorite out of the four because it has more of the green in with the other colors. The other ones mostly just have the purple and like some pink. All right, last one. We're gonna spread this around and then we are going to hit it with our torch. Okay guys, we're back with our coasters and they are sealed up. Um, I noticed when I was taking them off the cups that a couple of them got, um, let's see if I can, little uh, bumpy pieces. So I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna trim um, the little pieces off of these so that it'll sit flat uh, and then we'll put our cork boards on. Well, as you guys can see from um, the way that that last video kind of just cut out, uh, I have been having some camera issues, which are hopefully now fixed because I reset my whole camera system or whatever. Anyways, but it cut out and I didn't realize it before I got to show you guys putting the bags on. So I apologize for that, but I thought I'd explain real quick super simple process uh the cork boards that i have they come with these little uh plastic things which i could actually use for some resin stuff if i was going to make anyways um so you just peel it off and it has a sticky part on the back and you just push them down on here make sure it's on good and tight and uh that's basically it. So you didn't really miss a whole lot, but I wish I had still been able to get it on video. Uh, but I wanted to do this a little bit to show you guys, you know, how the backs look. And I, I broke a little tiny piece off of this one, but oh well. Uh, and uh, just to let you see the finished product. So I'm gonna show you each of the pieces. I'm probably gonna take some pictures of the pieces to put um, at the end of the video whenever it's edited. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel uh, if you like this video and if you hit the little ringy ding bell thing, uh, it'll let you know the next time that I upload something because I'm gonna start recording a new video as soon as I finish recording this one. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you next time.